Yo, what up, Facebook family? It's your boy, Carlos Martin. Welcome back to another episode of The Cycler Life. Shout out to all my cyclists. As you can see in the background, today's topic is going to be Monopoly, the game within the game, and how we still fall into this system or this trap or game of Monopoly. So, let's go do a little bit of history. When the United States was first created, it started this thing called the globalization of transporting goods. And the four major railroads that it started with, guess what? It's right here on the Monopoly board. So we got Reading, Pennsylvania, B.O.B., in short. The people that were in charge of this was Carnegie, Rockefeller, Morgan. J.P. Morgan actually owned a bank, Chase Bank. You follow me. But check this out. <clears throat> so in this game of Monopoly, what are the two famous spots that everybody wants? That's going to be Boardwalk and Park Place. Why? Because they cost so much, and if anybody lands on your property, you get to charge them a lot more, right? Well, let's look at this from a different plateau, and let's compare it to life. What is Boardwalk and Park Place in real life terms? Wouldn't that be like Hollywood? Wouldn't that be living famous, the famous lifestyle? You know what I mean? That's something that everybody wants, but not everyone is able to achieve. And there's a role to being able to achieve these different types of successes if you understand the game of Monopoly. So... Let's go here. Let's start at Go. Everyone usually starts at Go on Monopoly, right? Well, what are the first two places? Mediterranean, Baltic. Mediterranean goes for 600 and Baltic goes for 600 on this Monopoly board. Your game might be a little different. But the properties aren't really worth anything, right? So if we compare that to real life, what would that be like? <laughs> that would be the hood. There's a lot of people that stay in the ghetto, stay in the hood. I was actually born and raised there, but some place that I chose not to stay in an environment because I wanted more out of life, right? So, question for all my cyclists out there. How many of you guys pay utility bills? Everyone, right? Well, you guessed it. The utility bills are on the Monopoly board. So we have the electric bill right here. We got the water bill right here. We got luxury taxes right here. And how many people pay income tax? Because income tax is on the Monopoly board also, which is right here. It's pretty interesting how they knew to put all these different things in this game and it still affects 2014, right? So as we're journeying along from Go, there is a route or a method that you have to do to make it around the board safely. So it's the same thing in life, though. You know what I mean? If you want to find success, there is a method to the strategies of becoming successful. And how many people get stuck and wonder why they're stuck and how to become successful? becoming successful so as you're on this journey right you have all these different things how did they know to have go to jail how do they know to have just visiting how many people of us have family members or friends that have been to prison or have been incarcerated how do they know to put that on the board how do they know to put a vacancy for just being able to visit your board right or your friend on the board right so as you're going around and you're navigating yourself around these boards you'll see these two different items which is community chess and chance well, community and chest and chance represent different things in life. You can look at community and chest as welfare, government assistance, or whatever else, right? You can look at chance as the people who want to be on the streets, sell drugs, do things illegally. There's a chance that they might be successful doing it, but there's also a chance of getting caught, right? So, as you're making your way around this board, and if you get caught, you got the police officer right there, which is go to jail. You see what I'm saying? There's different booby traps that you have to be able to maneuver on this Monopoly board to be able to get the success that you want, right? So if you look at this game, this game is a representation of everything that's going on in life, right? Okay, so the question is, is how do you make money in Monopoly? You get a Monopoly, obviously. You got to own property. How many of us own something or how many of us are slaves to someone else's dreams while they're owning their own property? And we wonder why they have the lifestyle that we want. Well, in order to have that lifestyle, you need to start owning property. Martin Luther King didn't die because his I have a dream speech. He died because he started telling people how to play Monopoly in real life. He died because he started telling black people or just people in general because it's not about race, how to own something and how to take pride in owning something. And if you're not doing that, that's where you're falling short at or that's something that you need to work on or that we all need to improve as we play this game of Monopoly or this game of life. So as we're going around this board, right, the interesting thing about this board is 
you have to own three properties. Once you own three or two properties, which is a monopoly, then you're able to actually make a lot of money in the game of monopoly. If you don't own anything, eventually you're going to go bankrupt. So if you don't like your bank account, you better work on getting a monopoly. The Bible says at the end of the day, when you're going to see God, well done, my good and faithful servant. Right. Well, what's the key word in this scripture? The key word in this scripture is servant. Well, what is a servant? A servant is a person who provides a service. Well, what is a business? A business, a business is an entity of a person that provides a service. If you have a business with no customers, you have no business. But if you don't like your bank account, maybe it's because you're not serving enough people. That's why you got that age old quote. It's better to give than it is to receive. Who are you serving? Are you serving enough people in your life? Check your bank account and it'll let you know. The quote of the day is knowledge is not power. Knowledge is just knowledge. But applying knowledge is being powerful. This is brought to you by your boy Carlos Martin. Holla at me.